Just let that simmer just a little yeah, bit. That's a just, beautiful just, sound. Yeah, just it? let that set. Ah, good stuff. <laughs> Whole shot goes to Kylie Stallings out of Austin, Texas on the number 81 Husqvarna. Let's see if Kylie can hold on to this thing. That's the tough part. One of the smoothest, one of the smoothest starts I have yeah, seen. They he did. had a great line. And, oh, yeah, still got it. I'm always happy just to see everybody make it through those yeah. first two turns, the high-speed sweeper into that left-hander. That's where you see some of the, the bad get-offs. But right now it is Kylie Stallings out of Austin, Texas. And speaking of bad get-offs, you know what, though? The, the gear companies, what they have to offer in terms of protection. Oh. For the, the, the helmet has really changed in the last five years. Uh. They've really pushed the envelope and what safety, you know, the neck braces, the chest protectors, the under protectors, the helmets, boots, gloves, all that stuff really makes for a very it, safe, as safe as it can be. It, it's amazing how light it is now, uh, how much thinner it can be, because the impact uh, uh, technology, the density of stuff, uh, it's just incredible how much airflow you can get. The boots now, I mean, I, I wear the leather Alpine Stars, do <laughs> Pull sure. the old leather strap back, no buckle, you know, and that right. type of thing. And not today, man. So the number 81 of Kylie Stallings, you can see her on the white Husqvarna, the bright yellow helmet there. She just about comes to blows oh, over the number 58. Under 28. attack. Under That's Katie attack. Benson. She is three wide now. She goes from, uh, well, first to third and now back to first. Katie Benson maybe on that 56 there is the... 28 machine as well. Makes the move right there. That's Finally, Katie Kevin. Benson. Yep. The number 28 is Katie Benson. And here come our leaders for the first time around the Polysport Beach and uh, all three of these young ladies. Now, oh yeah, we have another lead change. 56. 56 of Sophia Phelps out of St. George, Utah. So make your mind up, ladies. Who wants to lead this? <laughs> We've had three different leaders and we're not even going to be officially a lap done. And now we're going to give you the action here as they come across and the transponders light up. Sophia Phelps on the 56, the 81, that's the white machine. That's going to be Kylie Stalin. She got the whole shot. Katie Benson on the 28 KTM is fourth. Cami Samples is fifth. Landry Hazen, Lena Randolph, Lachlan Turner, Mackenzie Brocat, and Anna Anicia Ingersoll round out your top ten. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Benson with that win in the first moto sitting in that third position right now. Cami Samples third in that. the first moto. We got a pass wow. for the lead now, the KTM now. Both of them up over the anthill. Over the anthill. Katie Benson is now out front on the 28 machine. Let's see what she can do. Good Lord. Four lead changes. Four lead changes in a lap and a quarter. <laughs> I'm telling you, I know we have uh, some years are better than others, but I, I just cannot complain about the racing that no. I've gotten the privilege to call. It has been so exciting, and that's not me trying to sell anything. No, I don't not sell at it, because if it's exciting, I'm going to yell and scream like a goober, and I've done that a lot. I told you and Jason, I, I just sat on the front porch, uh, ate, ate a quick bit of lunch, and kept the radio on in the truck so I could listen. <laughs> every moto, it is. every single moto has been awesome this year, and uh, part of that is track prep. Part of that is the crowd itself. Part of that is the talent. The part talent of that is, is the so weather good. that we've had. The weather's been amazing. They they cannot make their minds up. Uh, These oh, girls, I want the couch here. No, put it over there. No, just tell me where you want the couch, honey. Here we go. The number 28 now back out front. Wow. Katie Benson, but for how long? Because here comes Sophia Phelps side by side. And, and nobody's leading yet. They're, we're going to yeah. have leader A and exactly. leader B. On the inside, it is Katie Benson, but for how long? Sophia Phelps going to try to make it that. No, for the first time, follows her through a corner for the first time. Some action going down here in this girls 11 to 16 year old class. This is race number 18. And here we go on the inside. That's the rougher way around. They just smoothed it a few laps ago. So you want to kind of go outside and keep a little bit more momentum. Into the finish line turn we go with our leaders. Katie Benson on the 28 machine. She's got a lot of dirt on that number plate. She's already taken on a good bit of roost there. And, and you know what? The best way to do that, Kevin, get up close to that tire. Let that roost hit your tire, your not, front not fender, your not your face. That's exactly right. That's a good point. Kylie Stallings on the white machine, the bright yellow helmet. She is in the number three spot, has number 81 on her plates. Down by the mechanics. Here oh. we go with a pair of KTM riders. So that was a clean turn. No issues. What a drive. Just wide <laughs> open. That 56, Sophia Phelps. Holy cow. 
over by the Monster Energy viewing platforms over there. Three of those different ones are across the facility where you can get the best view if you're a mechanic or a family member over there on that side, you know, the mechanics area. Then they have some general public viewing decks to our right and our left. Pretty cool. Yeah, and, and with the layout of the facility, able to see from one end to the other on the sure. decks. And then the Monster Energy Jumbotrons. Here we go. Sizing her back up as we go into the Ten Commandments. Katie Benson. Sophia Phelps. Oh, and our third place rider goes down. Kylie Stallings tucks the front end. She's going to lose at least two spots as the gang is here. Yeah, it looked like Hazen right behind her as well as Randolph. She's but still there trying to crank that motorcycle Whoa. up. Goes for the triple. Holy cow. There she goes. She gets back up and running. There's the 81 of Kylie Stallings. She got the whole shot. She was third. She's easily outside of the top 10. And now we'll take a ride with our leaders, the 28 of Benson and Phelps. One and two. And poor Stallings, just that simple tip over. Not not a big crash, not just a uh, cartwheel, just a simple tip over sure. in a bad spot. This is as far apart as they have been. We've had about five lead changes. Here she comes on the inside. Sophia Phelps. Really inside. Where she just looked up and found that line. I that didn't see a line. line there myself. I can tell you that was impressive. Able to swing that thing around, drifted it with the throttle on, and just backed that thing right in road race style. Up and over that step up. Then they'll have the single to the roller they're not going to jump that one so again on the inside Phelps still working that inside line that is a very very rough patch of ground there they did not grade that they just graded the outside before the 50s so here we go again Benson Phelps and samples now running one two and three your winner last time out it was Benson all right here we got a race on our hands right here though big time we're talking about Landry Hazen and I believe that's Cammy Samples it is uh, locked in one right here just about the same distance as our leader. Sure, that same, is. Same battle we have. It's Samples and Kylie, or excuse me, Landry Hazen. Very tight race there for first and third. And there's the number 81 machine, our early race leader, Kylie Stallings. Tough break for her. She went down in those 10 commandments. This one goes 15, right? I believe so, yeah, yes. Yeah, 15 on this one. So it, uh, counting down we're about halfway home already this yeah we're seriously with that quick that's crazy that's why i had to ask you yeah halfway home here in this girls 11 to 16 class wow hey almost hit the, the rider with that mechanics board Holy that's a long yeah. arm oh, didn't like what the pit board wow. said get that thing out of my face bad advice that's for not for me it has somebody <laughs> else's name on it all right, down to the Ten Commandments we go with the rider there with her purple gear. That's going to be Katie Benson, I believe. Nope, that's the number 44 of Landry Hazen. And just in front of Landry sits the number 54 of Cammie Samples. And there's that 44 still, Landry Hazen, trying to reel in Cammie Samples right in front of her. She's going for that triple. Whoa. Oh. Head slaps down to the <laughs> gas tank. Kind of look like one of those old Ryan Clark bobbleheads. Oh, remember those? I do remember uh, that. Still she is a OK. Still bobbing, still rocking and rolling in that number four spot. We'll look at your top ten. It is still Anicia Ingersoll is tenth. Lachlan Turner is ninth. Kylie Stallings is eighth. Mackenzie Brocat is seventh. Aylin Malcolm sixth. Lena Randolph fifth. Landry Hazen, Cami Samples fourth to third. And then you have Phelps and Benson rounding out the top of the field. There is the 54 of Sample. So we're watching that battle. There's the battle for the lead right in front of us. Again, the 58, she's making that inside line work. Can she stick it? They almost come to blows there. They wow. both have to swing wide. I think she got nice. it. Nice, yep. She made the pass. They have went back and forth. And here we go. We'll take a ride with Sophia Phelps, see how long she can lead it. Inches apart there, Kevin. Almost tired to tire on that one. Literally Woo. not sure if the elbows touched or not, but I got to tell you, if they didn't, you couldn't get any closer. She had to slow down and go over to the right to avoid. She did not want to hit those ruts. No. She did not no. want to go uh -huh. to the inside. We know what happens inside the Bermuda Triangle. You never triangle. get seen again. No. You're hanging out with Amelia Earhart <laughs> and everybody else who's disappeared. <laughs> Prince. Even though he didn't disappear, it was just... An interesting way to go. I had monster come out my nose, dude. <laughs> All that. I about had a purple rain from my nose right there. You're drinking the purple drink. <laughs> uh, <laughs> head to the Ten Commandments. Let's see how long Sophia Phelps can hold on to this. She's got about five, six more minutes to go. Five minutes and 47 seconds to be exact. She swings it wide. She'll double, then do another double. Nice little double there. And double out. Simple and I, as that. And I got to tell you, uh, that move on that last lap was just... 
straight up hard race, and these two have been rock solid. Neither one made a bo there wasn't a bobble there either. No, there was no was mistake clean. made. It's just uh, did not want to use that inside line, and don't blame her. There it is, another race between uh, Samples and Hazen. This is two great races <laughs> side by side for first and third. Like a Reese cup, two great mm. tastes in one. It is delicious, peanut you know? butter and chocolate. Two of my favorites. I, I could munch on those all day long. The Not to mini. mention Moto's at Loretta, so all my all favorites. All, yeah. Reese's and Moto's at Loretta Lens. Wow. And look at that. Uh, picture in picture, you can check out both the battles. Top left, that's going to be the battle for the lead. And the bottom right will be the battle for the number three spot. Both of those battles are awesome. Way to go, Racer TV guys. Those darn Give kids us what in the trailer. Want. Absolutely. Ask and you shall receive. That is awesome. There is our battle for the number two, three spot, Samples and Hazen. That's what you're watching now. The 54 of Cami Samples. And oh. here comes the race for the lead again. The 56 of Phelps and Benson Megawatt. Benson lost a little bit of footing right there through one of those whoops. Oh, oh and, and guess what? Now it's Phelps. New leader. To... She comes back. Now oh. she passes her back. Lays it in there, and they are side by side. And again, Katie Benson has taken back over. 30 second lead change. I can't even keep up with it. I yeah. cannot keep up with how many times they have won wow. each other. So the 28 of Katie Benson with about four minutes to go, a couple laps to go, Megawatt. My goodness. Now here we go around that billboard turn. A couple lappers in the way right now. This might be the biggest gap between these two all day. No Kevin. doubt about it. It might be. And definitely, look at these lappers. I don't think they understand their lappers yet. No, they're battling for position yeah. as well. So there goes the number 28 of Katie Benson. Man, this is a heavyweight battle right here. Look at her use it. Do you see her grab an extra handful right there? Gotta you get around. those lappers. Absolutely wants to use them as defense. Don't want to get caught Masterful. up in them. Absolutely brilliant. So she's got to go outside here. Oh, Lord. Just, oh, my goodness. She's, she's going to go way field. away. Way out. There's five riders in front of Katie Benson and right behind her, Sophia Phelps. She's starting oh, to reel her back wow. in. Wow. A masterful job so far. Picking her way through traffic. Katie Benson, now this is where it's going to get hey. tricky. If you get stuck on a rut or something behind somebody, you're in trouble. Yellow flags are out. Woo! We got the smoke screen. They're pulling out all the stops now. And that's the strategy. If you're Phelps, get behind her just far enough. If she goes down or makes a mistake, you got to be able to make a move. Follow her through that she's track. right there. She has called oh, back up. Goodness. Of course she's called back up. Oh, this is the way cow. it's going to go. She's going on the inside. She's going to try to jump into a pass. And again, oh. they're side by side. You know Benson knows she's there. She can feel Sophia Phelps. Oh, I thought the rider went down. There was a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> And jumped into that rut, Kevin. Jumped into that corner, laid that thing over, and look at this as we come back to our favorite corner here leading to Mount Yamaha. Oh, wow, what a close batch of racing there. Uh, Vincent and Phelps up and over the step up. They're gonna come into view right in front of us. A little bit of a bobble there for our leader, Benson. Phelps follows right behind her. They've got some decisions to make. What are you gonna do with your life? Two lap card out right now for your leaders, Kevin. Two lap card out. White flag will come out next time around, so we've got two more laps to go. What an amazing race. Oh, white flag race. is out. White flag white is flag. out White right flag, here we now. go. Yep. It's go time. One more lap to go for Holy Katie Benson, cow. Sophia Phelps. Lap riders all over the place. Across in front of the billboards we go as I pick up our leaders. And I think she oh. made it. Well, she's side by side with her. The 58 looking for the 12. Oh, she made the pass. She did make the, the 58 pass. 58 gets around and Phelps on the inside. Benson trying to get back around. Phelps, Phelps has the, done it again. Phelps went to the inside of that lapper right behind the billboard, right at the edge, and just used it perfectly. H hang on, though, because here comes Benson. And she made the pass back around Phelps. And now Benson again leads. Lead change 44 in this moto, and I got to tell you, oh, Benson, that's exhausting. Benson did that under full power, under full momentum. And look at this. Sophia Phelps said, not, not yet. Phelps has got to go inside here. You don't want to follow her. Oh. Squares it up. Didn't go quite as no. far underneath her as I expected. Late in the moto, they have left nothing on this racetrack. Here comes Phelps on Puts the inside. inside. And she yep. does it. But Benson, now oh, she passes she her back. This thing is so far from being over, even though it's a white flag. Uh, <laughs> They're going to disconnect the handlebars. They are one motorcycle right now. We can't have any contact at this speed, bro. No, no, you are <laughs> not no socially distancing it. No. it all. There she are side by side again. Benson on the number 26 machine, the 58 of Phelps. Just sandwiched the lappers. And Benson, no, she does not have control yet. They touch down at the same time. Benson on the outside, Phelps on the inside, the big sweeper. And oh, oh. wheels are almost coming off the machine there. 
The 56 of Phelps. Phelps tucked that front end just a bit. Didn't have enough weight up there. This is it. A few turns remain. Katie Benson, the blue gear, the orange machine. She's got a couple of more turns to go. We've seen so many passes come from right here. Does Benson have it? Can she make it to this last turn? Phelps right behind her. I think she may actually be able to lock this thing That's down. Still lappers in play right now. Less than 50 yards to go to the final corner. And that's going to do it. The checker flag will fall for the number 28 of Katie Benson. There, I, I know that I've not seen that many passes no, no. between two people nope. for a race win. Felt will week. finish up second. They yep. pass each other 15 times. E easily. 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 So Benson, there, there Phelps, Hayes passes. Hayes <laughs> right last the same half time. <laughs> and then Samples and Malcolm round out your top five. Unbelievable battle there in that girls 11 to 16 uh -huh. class. I don't care what class it is. The racing wow. is so good. The talent's so deep. Except for the only place where the talent really falls off is at the announcer's part of the deal. So Jason Wygant, pretty much the weak link in our key team here. So we're going to send it down to the fourth best announcer here at the racetrack. Jason Wygant has our winner, Katie Benson. Thank you. Man, that was a good one. Another classic here at the Monster Energy AMA Amateur National Championship at Loretta Lane Ranch. But coming out on top in a duel to the end is Katie Benson. I'm going to send a call out to our man Ehab down to the podium. When we get Ehab down here, just need these uh, speakers tuned up a little bit. So our man Ehab, our sound engineer, if he can come on down. And I got Katie Benson. Well, tell me about that race. That was an awesome battle. Um, that was definitely a great race. I mean, it was passing back and forth on the last lap. To, I'm just so glad I got the number one spot. All right, who do you want to thank, Katie? My mom, my dad, my grandfather, Monster Army Bell Helmets, Jessica, Tier Speedway, Lynx, 100%, Olins, Dunlop, O'Neill, Liet, Micah, Adept, and everyone else, thank you. Katie Benson with the win. What a battle. We'll bring Sophia on up for the second place spot. What a race. Come on up, Sophia. She's happy. Solid run on the podium and leading, battling. Part of the Kyle Lewis MX Academy. She's going to be pulling starts on a Honda 450 soon like Kyle Lewis did. Head on up. So Sophia Phelps, a great battle in this one. Solid run. Second place. Let's hear it for Sophia Phelps. Is it fun to be in a battle like that? Yeah, it is. It's really fun. This is a cool podium. I've never been up here before. Really? Yeah. You almost got the gold wire up here. Good ride. What's Thank the you. difference, you think, to step up the game like this? You mean between first and second motos? Is that what you're asking? To finally get up on the podium. What oh, did it? okay. Well, you know, Tuesday when I was riding, I just wasn't riding like myself. My bike was set up perfectly, and my team was right where they need to be, and so helpful, but it was just on me, honestly. My mental game wasn't there, but uh, we did a few things between now and, or then and now, and uh, fixed what we needed to. So my mental game's strong now, and I'm excited for third motos. Oh, yeah. Who do you want to thank? There it is, folks, Sophia Phelps, second place. Uh, Kylie Stallings had our whole shot award. Is that Kylie? We'll bring her up, and then we'll talk to our third place finisher. You can come on up and take that big whole shot check right there. And we'll talk Stasic whole shot award, and then we'll talk to our third place finisher first. Our whole shot winner, Kylie Stallings. How'd you pull that start? Um, so I went into photo number one, and I got a second, so I got a pretty good gate pick um, and I got a really good gate and I just stayed on it and got the whole shot uh, I ended up third the second lap and then I was charging and I guess I just made a mistake right before the Ten Commandments and just lost that uh, I got up in 12th maybe 10th 
and I just tried to pass as many people as I could. I only got around like four. Uh, I ran into a lot of lappers at the end, but I charged and tried. So uh, I ended up in the sixth spot. So hopefully next one is better. All right, could be more podiums for you before you're done this week. Who do you want to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank my parents, uh, my trainer, Robbie Raynard, Fox, Bruce uh Ajax, Dunlop, and anybody else I forgot. Thank you guys so much. Kylie Stallings, our whole shot winner. Let's hear it for her. And I got to find Landry. Third place, perfect. All right, she's got the bronze. And that was a big battle for third as well. Cami Samples and Landry Hazen battling for it. Here is our bronze medalist, Landry Hazen. Just tell me about your moto a little bit. Uh, I got off to a good start finally. I've been having a rough re week and uh, Charlie and Ben have been working with me a lot to get my starts figured out and I finally got a good one so I'm pretty pumped. Who do you want to thank? I'd like to thank my mom, dad, uh, Charlie from Slipshot, Ben, and Fly, 60, Tamer, and uh, everyone else. Thank you. Let's hear it for third place, Landry Hazen. Thank you. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just checking down here. All right, we're going to work on these podium speakers, but we're finished for this class. Great work.